Please join me in welcoming to the ring last year's 2022 Smash Ultimate CEO Champion, 25th place in Street Fighter VI, Bring Out Riddles! This is the player that a lot have, people have a lot of eyes on because of Street Fighter. Is that Luke's theme? Is that Luke? He's doing the pose! It's Luke! <laughs> That's Luke right there! Hey, bro. That's my Luke! Dude, you look huge. Dude! Oh, ladies, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> ladies, what's good? I want to see now, now, that, that clip that somebody made of him getting blasted away. Oh. After, it absolutely killed me. But you know who? You know, bro, Riddles not only was doing so good, he was cooking people in SF6. And that might play again here. But back to Broza for who's up next. Another former South Floridian brought back to Orlando. Please welcome E Sam! Pikachu extraordinaire. What do we got on the table? Hey, look, it could be Pikachu or it could be himself. Who knows? Uh, here he comes. E Sam had to go through so many. Oh! Whoa, the water bottle throw? He actually got <laughs> in the ring. You can't see it on oh, camera. I watched bro. it actually landed right, in the yo, ring. He, he actually knows. got a strike with that. All right. Yo. Well done. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? What's yo, that? What's, what what's, what's, what's this? What is this? I'm, I'm godlike. God I'm godlike. I'm nice as <laughs> hell. <laughs> Pikachu busted. <laughs> East Ham, always the player out there that's just been trying to get Pikachu on that app and try. Goo, this is one of the best characters in the game and no one's playing it. I've been playing him for years and years across multiple, multiple games. And he hey. still believes in this character and for good reason. For the longest time. Isam was one of the few people to sport a winning record, let alone a good record, against MK Leo with that Pikachu. And even though we haven't seen as much of him of late, this is always a massive threat out here playing with that Pikachu. He has the Me Brawler now as well. Do not be surprised to see that. Also, do not be, see, let's be surprised to see it's actually him. They keep letting him get access to the Switch and making himself. Uh, but if we, if the Pikachu doesn't work out, We'll probably see that. However, because it is potentially Terry or Kazuya, I think we're seeing the Pikachu all the way through. Oh, yeah, 100%. If there's anyone that can deal with, like, the nonsense of some of the fighting game characters in the game, it's definitely going to be Pikachu. Just being able to have the evasive maneuvers that he has, being able to run circles around the likes of, like, Kazuya or Terry, as well as being able to, like, sandwich into the ground, pancake, if you will, to try to, like, be kind of just evasive all around. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to try and keep ECM grounded as those characters, but... You think back to what was, in my opinion, the most impressive uh, moment that I have seen out of Riddles ever. And, and, and there's so many of those. It's not even when he won a whole tournament. It's when he was able to reverse the real Sonics with Terry. The fighting game characters get demolished by Sonic, and Sonic's was absolutely destroying the Kazuya, and then he proceeds to reverse 3-0 in one of the most annoying matchups to try and win with, and he did it in an incredible fashion. That's the level of, like, just, he's so intelligent with these characters, and I don't think that ECM's gonna be able to play that passive play style that he might want because of something we saw like that. And Riddles is no stranger to winning tournaments, too, if you yep. actually look back on it. Like you said, he won CEO last year, won Collision, has tons of other wins underneath his belt, just all over the place. Like, he is now no stranger to find this victory. Uh, on what? I think Sonic's won last year. I don't know, I gotta double check that. But <laughs> <laughs> double check that, but well, yeah, Collision. Okay, look. He's got some wins. He did win Collision as well, which is one of the most entertaining matches. And we're going to get another entertaining one right now as we get to the other half of Loser's Top 8. Riddles versus Isim, game number one. Here we go. Terry Bogard is the character of choice right now for Riddles. Isim, you know, this is what's probably going to happen, right? You're going to see a lot of aggression coming out from Isim right out the gate, try to, like, open him up a little bit. He's also got that projectile game in case he wants to, like, use it from the airborne. Not much Terry can do in that regard. But he's not even trying to go for that. He's going mad aggressive right now. Hey, <laughs> We're talking about Isim's conversions this weekend, and one, something that's even more important. His SDI on the Smashbox has been absurd. I have not seen uh, so uh, He has been falling out of everything. But speaking of falling out, he ends up pushing him off the stage, missing out on that down smash. He gets a jab block, he, and you can see the SDI in there. He was trying to get out of getting uh, getting away from that. It did not work out. Yeah, please help me as we're going to go with that short hop board air, a fantastic poke on shield. Also has the ability to try to like whittle it down slightly to be able to like just, you know, turn it into like a slight of a skill. But that go meter is now active. You can see what we're going to be able to burn this on because it's active until he is gone. I like that early going for the power dunk to beat out the attempt of trying to get that forward air to get that early KO. But 122, oh, you are dead. Oh, are you okay? Are, are you okay? I'm no, not. that is the rudest question you could have asked me. You just 
punched in my chest. Bro, you should have the wolf out. We're gonna get caught by that thunder. Back off stage. Esam trying to get this really good edge guard, but Riddles, fantastic recovery. What? Tech out of the nair, still back off stage. How is Esam keeping this advantage? Bro, what a tech into the instant nair. That was incredible awareness for Esam to go for that right away. 168, though. Look, as, as long as gold meter is there, Esam is likely to take 50% punishes on a regular. Back throw will be the option because you don't want to waste that on up throw yet. Terry is a hefty boy, but the next one will do it. Doesn't even need it though. I, or I guess he still needs it. F tilt didn't even do it. Hey, Terry been eating his Wheaties, bro. He's gonna wait a little bit lot larger than some other characters. 200 damage and climbing. ECM just can't close this out because you usually have your trouble finally with the simplest of hits. Look, a thunder jolt. Look, look, Pikachu players be capping sometimes when they act like, oh, we can't. Wait, wait, he's so bad. The one time they have some viable option is when they're above that 140-ish percent because you have to go for dash attacks, you gotta go for off throws uh, later on. It can be a little bit more difficult to kill these yeah. uh, situations, but you don't ECM has figured it out. Yeah, you just don't get your setup sometimes you that, that uh, higher damage, right? No Especially, more air down smashes. Yeah, no jab block setups happening in your favor. But now, Riddles, jab, jab. That's a grown man versus a whole <laughs> rat. Dunk! <laughs> Get taken him out. Down smash could lead to an early KO if he reads the defensive option, but smartly going up and over to make sure if you take a hit, I'm taking it back on stage. Okay, forward air again, gonna catch that short hop. It follows it up with the Thunder. Riddle's just gonna kind of back back another jab lock situation. Couldn't get too much out of it, just goes for the down, so try to possibly reset. I do like the positioning he had on there. He like every time E Sam doesn't have like what he feels like is more of a combo, he makes sure that he gets you to a panic situation. But oh, he is not, he's not okay. okay! He died at 72 for set! That is a grown man fighting at New York City Rat! What is going on? But that was a two-stock from Riddles to start things off. My man does not need Kazuya Mishima. All he needs is the Terry Bogart. Bro, people, wait, look, okay, Kazuya is broken. Let's get, yes. that, let's get that out of the way. Okay. But if for some reason he wasn't allowed to play Kazuya for any reason, he'd be the fine. The Terry is right there. He's gonna be just fine. Sometimes he likes to go for the Terry, especially against like Pikachu, because he gets a little bit more speed than Kazuya. Kazuya's a lot more grounded. His jumping game isn't as good, especially with Pikachu is gonna be airborne so much. This is exactly why we're gonna see this coming out from Terry. Okay, back air loops coming out on the center of the stage. Esam off to a fantastic start, racking up some really easy damage here at 46 out of the gate. But just in two swings, it's already even. Also, just to confirm, shots to last, I was right. Son Sonics did win last year, so there was, Let's go, there was a, a, a little mistake. Uh, wait, sh shout out to his own coach not letting him keep that W. But here on game number two, uh, going to Smashville, I like the idea. I'm kind of surprised it was allowed to be open, to be honest, because we talked about this yesterday. Small stage, easy ledge trap option for, for Esam. Yeah, just having those ledge traps at your disposal extremely helps you put it on the edge of stage. Oh my gosh, a downer. Thought he saw the hit stun was going to try to follow that up. Unfortunately, not going to come out. And now we got a go meter. He's on deck, and you already know what that means. Two of those last kills. He even wanted it. You saw it. He's hungry. He's ready to take the hit. Other one. Power. Guys, he has absolutely no fear. This man is walking up to outlets with an actual quirk. He does not care. That man is going to put on 52% immediately. Ezem has been struggling, Lin. And look at that. He even tried to punish the team jump with the back here to get the clink. Down smash right on top of him. He's going to close out that first stock coming out from Riddles. See how this back here is going to come out. More up airs. Oh, more loose. If he, that was actually fantastic DI coming out from Riddles because if he was fading away, if he was DIing away, he was dead. But because he DI'd in, which is kind of unorthodox for a combo, it allowed him to survive to get back on the stage. Yeah, like Riddles has not really cared too much about the stun this way. He should. Life expectancy is going to drop pretty soon if he keeps taking those hits. Esam's taking full advantage of it at the moment. That backer, of course, one of the best out of shield options still in the game, continuously pushing him back on stage. Down air, big confirm. Oh my god, he DI'd away. Good there, dodge. But you know what? Bust the wolf, baby. <laughs> when you had a true combo and God said no, man, he actually can't catch a break on some of these. But he, and Riddles always with that gold meter ready to go. He's at 117. That would have put on another 330 plus. And he's Esam is playing, excuse me, Riddles is playing this matchup very well right now. Yeah, Riddles is a terrifying player to play against the Bucks 200. That is an unfortunate DI coming out. It's not a legend attack, but it's okay. It's Pikachu. We can recover from pretty much anywhere on the stage. 71, more power waves coming out. Landing with the Nair, what's the answer here? We need something big. Esam needs to turn around. This is so scary, Austin. Like, literally everything we do, he, ha he had to swing that dash attack so fast because we did it. We're talking about a game three with a 2-0 lead to Riddles.
first map. 100 triple digits. Okay, let go of ledge, double jump into Ooh. forward air, and we got some more loot. This could be huge. He can if he's him, can convert this. He can sneak a kill. Oh, if he does not mash out right there, if he caught that forward air, he could have tried to sneak a really early KO. Getting a KO below 100, sub 100% against Terry is such a blessing that you need to be able to go for that. So the fact that he was not able to accomplish that is kind of going to be a boon, because right now he's just racking up more and more damage, and eventually that go meter is going to be an active threat, which gives yeah. him access to the Buster Wolf and the Power Guy. You're almost trying to play to get the KO before the 100% right now because you don't want him to have access to that. But that's just going to do it. Rise and tackle with the active input. Absolutely. Riddles is going to move up 2-0 in the set. Osti, Pikachu is so good at playing around these type of matchups. Well, what is it in your eyes that he needs to do to try and get around this incredibly dominant pressure that Riddles has been having? Honestly, the jabs from Terry are such a threat because they lead into so much that I feel like you got to kind of like respect Terry by not being in front of him so much. Which granted, you know, you're Pikachu. You want to get in front of him. You want to get those grabs. Pikachu thrives off the grabs of Smash Grab. He thrives off quick attacking all over the place, trying to mix up where he's going to go. But the jab itself is what's leading into a majority of those kills. Even the end there, jab, jab, up B. He was able to secure it. So now we're here on set point. Four riddles. Let's we'll see if Isam can bring this back. And even if he does, he's got a hill to climb, bro. It is two to zero. You're down 2-0 with that big deficit. That's the type of start you need. That's the type of start you need. I like the fact that he backed off too. He knew that lining up Thunder wouldn't be very easy to do if he went for that power dunk. So instead, he ends up cashing out 70 plus, trying to get one more up here to keep that string going. But his falling up airs from riddles have been so good at a disadvantage. Oh, you could die! Oh my god, he was so close to dying at 68%. That's like the problem with like Pichu versus Terry, bro. Like he's oh, Okay, call out that side B, get that Dare Easton finding himself with a lead. That was it. You needed that and now build that lead. Here goes another carry. That time he's not going to try and cash out. You want to make sure you get back on stage. And look at this again, Austin. From ledge, these up tilted up airs have been so good for Esam to rack up a free 60 plus combo. Yeah, the Pikachu loops are to a, to a massive amount of damage. We know what else does. The simple punch. Fantastic optimization to get it back off stage. Covers the ledge. Re grab with Thunder. Esam covering everything. There was nothing Riddles could have done. The second he found himself in that bad position off stage, Esam capitalized. Uh, Tuli out here getting some work done. He's cooking. That was an incredible job from Esam getting out there to get that early thunder. Now he has a two-stock lead. Can, can, can have fun dealing with Pikachu with two-stock lead because now he can do all of this, get, not even caring if he gives up a stock there. The thing is, he wasn't because Pikachu's recovery is out of this world. He can recover from pretty much anywhere on the stage. Finally getting a point on the board here for Riddles. Going to close that out with the up B. Going to have two stocks to one. We're going to see how it's going to be able to play out for the rest of this. Because right now, Esam's looking pretty dominant. It's been uh, as best as you could ask for, especially because they've been early KOs. He can find another one here. Air Doctor's already burned. Closing for the crack shoot to get around that situation, though. Riddles is kind of swinging haphazardly to find an opening. And that's exactly what Esam wants. That's Thunder. That would have actually connected onto Pikachu on top of that. We don't even need it. We catch those double jumps with my forward smash, which might as well be a sword. Pikachu, Pikachu busted. Godlike. At least one time. At least Bro, one game. He got it. At least one game, dude. Pikachu busted. Terry busted. Everybody busted. True, actually. <laughs> Every character in this game, man. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Little Mac? The peanut <laughs> somewhere is dying inside hearing you say that. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you know he's on stage, doesn't get knocked off. Yeah, shout out to peanut. But right <laughs> up next here, uh, we got game number four. Uh, counter big advantage, of course, like you said, is in favor of Riddles. Uh, by the way, chat, I'm sorry, I did say I was going to go try to change the stage music. Uh, they didn't let me do it, so, so we're, we, we're at the mercy of what they pick, where we're going to go. Don't let him lie to you, folks. He, he forgot. He forgot. It's okay. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I asked. <laughs> I, I asked. Though. Wait, did you really? I did. Oh, I'm so they sorry. They said I couldn't touch it because Man. they didn't want... They, they, okay. they didn't want that tank Yo, music Shout out to CEO, by the way, because they, exactly. made, they made sure nobody could switch the underdog or anything. Nah, nah, Not nah, even nah. me. <laughs> like, you know you're working, but it ain't happening. But the underdog in this situation is Esam, and he needs to be able to make that comeback. We're not going to call it a Cinderella story because this is one of the best players we've seen throughout the history of Smash, but he has not had the performances we've expected for a long time. Today, he looks like prime Esam we're used to seeing. You know, that boss music coming out. Kazi oh, is down on deck here. Go. No. Oh, we live in, though. He's standing on the far left side of the stage, allowing him to DI towards that corner to be able to fight another day. He is so lucky. Dragon Uppercut is so strong. That is normally a KO option for many different situations, but tries to go for the hell sweep. I'm here for it. That would have ate that hit and definitely got the KO. Yeah, I mean, we see, the second you see that crumpled stay, bro, you just think, like, okay, you might as well start writing your will. 
Let's see what's gonna happen. No, that, another yo, Hellsweep? That, no, that's not Hellsweep. Oh, that, that is the greatest noob stomper in the entirety of Tekken. Everybody <laughs> has done that move. But it did not work here in this situation as he's gonna go ahead and get KO'd for it. Oh my god, as an anti-air, just stop him in his tracks. Through the fire of flames, baby, that man is Dragon Force all the way, all the way up to the top. But right now, 32% to 12, not, not bad, because for Pikachu, you have to run away the entire time. That's okay to do against Kazuya. However, you done made one singular mistake. If you got that falling up air, you wouldn't have been able to kill, but he would have taken so much damage. Yeah, that's something you gotta be able to respect on the table here. Very even game right now. Two stocks a piece. Esam starting to push the envelope here. But again, this is what Riddles can do with Kazuya. This is the power of Kazuya. Any sort of momentum your character gets against you, you can just stop it in its tracks with one singular swing. That's exactly what you need. You need to be able to... Anybody who can make Kazuya calm down is a great character in this game. Forward air will not be enough, as we already know. Kazuya is extremely heavy, and that's going to catch yeah. him. Like, he's used so many resources. Yeah. He wouldn't have been that anyways. He was just waiting for that prime That's the thing, total time. thunderstorm yeah. right there. Riddles that's was good. purposely doing that to avoid the thunderstorm, right? The thunder was going to bring him all the way back down. Esam still landed. He took like three damage in that magnifying glass on top of that, but it just wasn't enough. Esam was just playing extremely patient. Didn't get overzealous. Knew what was going to happen, but unfortunately, going to get command grabbed. And now we're back off stage 126. Yeah, no. Oh, there Kicks. we go. <laughs> Punching him off the stage. Esam looking at the elimination stock point right now. Riddles trying to keep this bracket run alive. He's already done incredible all weekend, got 25th to Street Fighter 6, and trying to bring that number up even higher here in Smash Ultimate. You saw him bust out that kick that reflects projectiles too, really quick. Like, you, oh, I see you, I see you, Riddles. Oh no. Okay, we drop it, Esam coming back in, 81 damage, trying to convert him into the Thunder, gonna air dodge right through that quick attack to give him Ooh. some momentum, follows the tech read, Rage is now on the table, Esam's gonna be very careful, that Ooh. projectile Ooh. action might have been a fantastic recovery, coming out from Riddles to get run, back on the run. stage, saving his resources, down smash, sends him off, 130 damage, where is he going? Run away from Rage Drive, get away from that, it's good spot, he forced the air dodge, he thought he might have to tech, but instead, Instead, we get back to back. Game number five to start off this top eight. There is a, I, I have a hankering for game fives, and CEO is delivering. I, we, we are being blessed. We are being absolutely blessed right now with some incredible gameplay. You love to see it. We're only two rounds in. I'd be very surprised if the voices attached to us are there by the time we even get to the end of this. But hey, I'm here for it. The crowd's into it. Everybody's been having a good time. And we again, we're getting spoiled with this second game five in a row. There's some people here from ESAM, some people here from Riddles, and a lot of people here for some good damn games. Here we go. And we're going straight back over to Terry Bogart. Kazuya was not the pick he was feeling, or we got the stage counter pick coming out to give him a little bit more of ability. We're going straight to Hollow Bastion this time around. All right, here we go. Go running back to the same stage, but different character. Like you said, the Kazuya not working out how we hope. That anti, bro, that anti here is so Damn good. Let's talk about it. That five oh, five led to so much, and he absolutely destroyed that first stock all off of one mistake from Esam. That is the power of Terry Bogart. You get that one swing, you push him back off stage. Doesn't matter who you are, you're not coming back from that. So Esam now has to bring this back. But he's at a pretty good prime position, right? This is like the perfect percent for Pikachu to get a lot of early combos. But right now, that'll be <laughs> coming in, dude. Yeah, you can get early combos if you get a hit. Currently, your niche looking kind of like ass. He ain't able to get in right now. You got to pick that up. You got to throw some T-jolts. You got to get behind that. But Esam, like we said before, so strong for good reason. You can never count him out, even in situations like this, because he has made comebacks plenty of times before as he gets one to start it off right there. All he needed was that one giant confirm coming out from the up air string back off stage. We catch that double roll. We get punished for the double roll. Riddles now on set stock being able to get one more kill will secure him at least a top five position here at CEO. A couple of one more stocks have already started to go off, but we got 23% that could have been disappeared immediately. Here we go, he's got to go to below though. He gets back on, uses the walls up, trying to get around. And then again, the anti-air has been so good from Terry. More loops coming out, gonna end it with a down smash for some good chunk amount of damage. I love that recovery, Riddles using the side B above the forward smash because he knew it was like an answer. It happened earlier before, so this time we reacting out here. Coming oh, out the side B, he's in a bad spot, eh, Jazz? This is looking kind of rough. Goes out there for the ledge jump, but instead he's gonna get reversed himself. He already used his jump, but he has to swing back down the back here one more time, Austin. 
this could be really tough, right? East Jam coming back in. It's a Thunder Jolt. That was such beauty. But unfortunately, he needed that KO. Because now Go Meter is alive. There might be an are you okay moment. He Wait. might be thinking about that Buster Wolf. Oh. And Gas is on that. Oh, Whoa. Shield Pope. He got the lead charge. We are on last stock once again here. Game number five. East Jam has already started off the combo. He's carrying him all the way over. He's got him at 34%. Look for the air that point. He misses. We got those loops coming out. The crowd is cheering for East Jam. Point and fight as well. But right now, he is in disadvantage. Quick attack brings him back to center stage. Tarek looking for an answer. Ooh, back gotcha. here. He's just the thunder. He's going high. It's going to be so hard to get back down to the ground, but he does. He, he needs the up air, Ajax. He needs it so bad. All he needs is one good string off stage. He's backing it up. There's the back air. He got the forward air. He's going to go high. He's going to try to recover past that. And he gets around the up air. But can he land? It's been so tough to touch the ground. He is out of resources. Gets back onto the stage. Man, recover it. Both players. Oh, no, there is. Oh, no. He will the up B. Oh, no. He whipped it there. He, he needed that. There. He needed that so badly. Now we're going for a down tilt. Trying to get a ledge trap in position. Anything. Some jab lock situation. Thunder Joel coming back in. Slowing it down. Down attack. He, pushes him off stage. Austin, he does not want him getting access to go meter right now because the power guys is going to be so good. He goes for the jabs. Nothing happens. He sent back up. Tries to get him in. He misses the rising down. He misses the punch. Are oh, you kidding me? He's still alive. He's still alive! He's Sam sitting at 156. What happened? 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 No, they don't even know. They literally don't even know how that ended. What in the hell? <laughs> what? I love this stupid game. It's so much fun, but what in the world happened? <laughs> <laughs> and claps up, claps up for that. Give it up for what an incredible set. We had two back to back. That felt like a grand final set. I already can't breathe. I can't. I, somebody get the defib. I need, my heart's racing too fast. I can't do this.